you buy a high-end TV display, your red and green colors are coming from small chunks of semiconductor, which are about 2 to 10 nanometers in size. We call these small chunks of semiconductor quantum dots. Manufacturers like quantum dots because they can be used to make displays with better color, more dynamic contrast, and which use less energy. However, the quantum dots used in today's displays contain cadmium, which is toxic. Our patent presents a method to synthesize quantum dots that do not contain cadmium or other toxic materials. Here you see a synthesis of these particles. Within a minute, and in a relatively small space, we can synthesize over a trillion identical quantum dots, which is enough for about a thousand TV displays. Our quantum dots contain four different elements. For example, every single quantum dot in this vial contains the exact same amount of copper, zinc, indium, and selenium. Normally, it is tricky to control how four elements react in a vessel but our invention makes this reaction predictable and reproducible. What we also explain in our invention is which specific combinations of the four elements make for the best light-emitting quantum dots and why. Here in lab, we can already make quantum dots that are 95% of the efficiency of cadmium-based quantum dots. We're looking forward to working with industry to bring these quantum dots into your everyday devices like TV displays, computer screens, and smartphones. And with the same synthesis, we can make materials with different compositions that are good for solar cells and thermoelectrics. So there are many exciting possibilities for these non-heavy metal containing quantum dots.